CPI data, CPI data, CPI data. Inflation numbers coming a couple of weeks away. This week, five days from now, as I do this video, later in the week, jobs report coming. Bitcoin in the middle of a bear market, putting in kind of a new swing low right now. Does BTC even have a chance? I wanted to do this video just as a quick update as we go into this new week because there's there's a lot going on, not only on the charts, not only in the short term, the macro charts is zoomed out, but just everything happening with with this these news cycles every week pounding markets uh, from an emotional perspective as well. Jobs in focus after hawkish Powell speech, what to know this week. So real quick, August employment data is expected to show another strong month for the U.S. labor market. That's That sounds good, but let's, let's talk about that for a second. If you remember, just last month, there were 528,000 jobs in July as market returns to pre-pandemic levels. That was the headline. Now, for perspective, economists said the news was likely to spur the Federal Reserve's determination to raise rates and cool the economy as it struggles to tame soaring inflation. The unexpected acceleration in non-farm payroll growth in July, together with the further decline in the un unemployment rate and the renewed pickup in wage pressures, suggests the economy is still a long way from recession. So we have new numbers coming out this week, rising by 300,000 in August, according to data from Bloomberg. The figure is likely to serve a key role in dictating the Federal Reserve's next rate decision at its policy set setting meeting later this month and we go to the bitcoin chart this is what i have charted here on the daily there's that meeting it's july or i'm sorry it's september 13th right there that's coming up but the news happening kind of this week with jobs data kind of playing into the storyline that's happening here and here we have bitcoin in a downtrend now what i want to mention is this let's let's put inflation before we really dig into these btc charts and, and talk about where i think things are going if we look at inflation, right, we're waiting uh, September 13th, last month was 8.5, June topping out 9.1%, right? But remember, this is the data we want to track. This is true inflation year over year rate of 9.32%. But remember, this topped out like above 11, close to 12% on this chart back in like March of 2022. This, I think, is a data point we need to use as a leading indicator for all of these markets. Now, if you're unaware of Trueflation, uh, the Trueflation Index is its on-chain Oracle data uh, provided by Chainlink, I believe, is measured based on the price data of millions of items across the economy. And this data, I just, I just trust it more than what we're seeing coming out uh, over here. So we topped out on this chart right here, the Trueflation chart, and it's going to be very interesting on the more zoomed in. Here's, here's over the last month, very sideways. What kind of move are we going to see here on the monthly the weekly in terms of historical true true inflation rates. And this is a chart I think we should really monitor closely as we're as we're watching all of these crazy headlines. Now here we are with Bitcoin. The thing with Bitcoin is Bitcoin is reacting. It's reacting with the stock market. And it's really it's really been following equity markets on the short term in terms of the moves that are happening. So CPI data coming in a couple of weeks. And there's Bitcoin is in the middle of a bear market, right? So we can we can dissect the short-term charts all we want. If you if you really want to watch Bitcoin, if there's any move to the upside, right now we have a 20-day moving average pretty much crossing below the 50-day moving average right there, that green line crossing below the 50-day blue line. That's not that's not a good look for a Bitcoin chart. Now, we can monitor a move to this area cuz whether we're getting a bullish move, right? The 20-week crossing above the 50 or or I'm sorry, the 20-day crossing above the 50 or the 20-day crossing below. Either way, we wait for Bitcoin to kind of pull back to it or on the upside, throw back to it to see if there's support. So in this case, we're seeing if there will be resistance at this level. So right around $22,300 or so, it's a couple thousand dollar move away for Bitcoin. This is what I want to put a warning out there for is if on this chart, Bitcoin starts seeing another a rally, right? So from this previous swing low we, we've previously had in $19,000 area to this move up into these moving averages, that's a 13% move. From where Bitcoin is as I do this video, we're looking at a potential 8 to 9% move. Be very careful in a move like that because it's a very common move on Bitcoin charts. Again, whether we're retesting these moving averages for support or in this case, retesting it for resistance, be very careful 
Don't get caught up into this, especially if you're on crypto Twitter, crypto YouTuber, or YouTube. Don't get caught up into kind of that fear of missing out mentality. Be very, very calculated with how you're going about these markets right now. And the way to do that, and this is my opinion, this is not financial advice. The way to do that on these charts is to zoom out on the Bitcoin charts. Here's Bitcoin. The, the, the thing that I keep telling myself is this. We're in the middle of a bear market. We're in the middle of a bear market. And, and if we look at these charts, and we're going to do that in a second, it's fairly new, this bottom formation that we're in. There's still plenty of time left for volatility. There's still plenty of time and room left for downside. And that's kind of what we need to consider. For, for context to that, from the swing low right here that Bitcoin had in June, we're like 154 days. Uh, or, no, I'm sorry. We're not 154 days. For perspective, if you look at this, we're actually around 84 days. Now, the reason I put 854 days was for some perspective because it was 154 days last cycle from the swing low to Bitcoin kind of exiting this massive Fibonacci channel that we have right here. It took 154 days. So from the swing low to exit above that area, that channel. So 154 days for us now puts us in mid-November. That's still over two months away, two and a half months away. Best case scenario, I would say. We go back and we look at uh, Bitcoin in 2015. It took 315 days from this swing low to kind of exit this area and start seeing an uptrend of some sort. 315 days. But notice something extremely important. This was Bitcoin was getting close to halving of 2016. And the same thing was happening here. Not as close, but Bitcoin was getting close to halving of 2020. And here we are now. We're still quite a bit away, a ways away from 2024 halving. And we need to just keep that in mind. On the macro, on the zoomed out, we're, we're quite a ways away. So if we, if we get to November area, who knows where Bitcoin will be, then we're starting to get closer. Then we can start really monitoring and being more realistic about a Bitcoin breakout. I think a lot of the markets right now want Bitcoin just to kind of turn things around. The bottom is in uh, and just kind of start seeing upside again. I just I have this opinion that this is going to be kind of a drawn out long crypto winter. And, and it's not uncommon for that. This is really what's happened before in previous cycles. Some longer than others. 2015 longer than 2018. But nonetheless, it happened and there was pain involved. So in terms of kind of planning your next move, it's all about finding your comfort level. We're all different, everyone. That's why this is not financial advice. I have no idea about your financial situation and what you're looking at. I just track my crypto journey and my, my, my approach to these markets is very much based on this Bitcoin chart. And that doesn't necessarily mean me buying Bitcoin but my approach to even altcoins and accumulating those is based on the Bitcoin chart because historically, and I just did a video on this, I, I mentioned all the time because it's the biggest piece of data in these, in these bear markets, this 786 line, Bitcoin bottoms out and trades below that. I don't know if it's going to happen again, but I'm extremely prepared for it. So right now I'm just kind of finding my own comfort level of when I buy, what I buy, but I'm not in that like heavy buy zone mentality right now. Uh, I'm waiting for that fear, that mass capitulation of fear that might come be below the 786 line. Uh, and, and I don't know if it will come. I don't know if, it, if it's not ever going to happen. But what I do know is I'm prepared for that to more comfortably kind of go very heavy in buying crypto. So that's my approach. I could miss out right now. This, the bottom could be in and we could be sideways right here for a while. Uh, before we see uptrend and maybe I should be buying heavier and looking back that that will be something I missed out on but I'm fine with that and that's why we do these charts to always monitor and analyze these markets and to see where things could go so that we can best make our decisions in the time being so we're going to continue monitoring things like trueflation and what's going on with actual on-chain metrics at, or in, in relation to inflation what's going to be what's the job jobs data going to look like this week uh, are we going to see kind of the the Fed react to that negatively in the next couple of weeks when rates are raised, right? This is coming quick, uh, uh, September 13th. So we're going to track all of these things along with Bitcoin charts, and we're just going to just survive the bear market together. I wanted to do a quick update as we go into this, this new week. 
uh, all of these different things coming coming about. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please hit the like button. We're going to track it. We're, we'll track the technicals from an analysis perspective on these charts because I'm just extremely curious to see how Bitcoin does move and how Bitcoin does react to all this new data that's coming out. So I appreciate you coming by. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.